a good chunk of the roots literally came off hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel for today's video i have a two week update on my little baby thai um monstera thai constellation um tissue culture so if you would like to get caught up to date on how these past um about two weeks or so have been stay tuned and keep watching be sure to hit like leave a comment and hit subscribe down below as well Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into the video. Here we go, guys. The most exciting part. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look at these roots and see what they've been doing. I'm kind of scared to even disturb them. Oh, okay. Is it terrible? I don't think so. But is it a little strange? Yes. I think I'm going to rinse this off because there is a little bit of perlite from when I had the perlite. had it in the perlite cup. I'm not mad at this root system and the plant's leaves seem to be um, still okay. They're not flimsy at all. They're just a little sunburnt from my grow light. Right, let me go rinse this off really quick. So here we have the roots, you guys. Um, not even going to lie to you guys. A good chunk of the roots literally came off and went down the drain into the sink just now. And there's like a pit in my stomach. I'm so scared right now. I'm hoping that, you know, I'm just going to put it back in the leka and like pray for the best because I... I'm so like upset with myself right now but it's also like I know it'll be fine honestly it was a chunk but it wasn't anything life-altering and this is still a good enough root system and there's some healthy roots in there to continue growing down into the LECA so I'm not concerned oh yeah by the way I'm gonna show you guys my um, flushing process I guess is I guess I don't have to show you. I really don't have to show you. It's just me going to be me rinsing the LECA in this container and refilling it with fresh nutrient solution. That's all. See you in the next clip. So, yeah, you guys, I have everything flushed here. I just used tap water. Nothing special. <laughs> um, rinsed the LECA, rinsed out the container underneath so i'm gonna go ahead and mix up the nutrient solution from pretty and green um if you guys want a, a more in-depth video on that just let me know down in the comments and also um leaving a like on this video will also help me to know that you guys like this content and want me to keep posting stuff like this so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and mix up the nutrient solution and get this bad boy filled up Just some other things oops, about this plant as well. The, the average temperature I keep my plant is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity level hovers between, um, I would say about 73 to like 80 um, percent. Um, I have very high humidity in here naturally, thank goodness. But um yeah, those are the conditions I've been giving the plant, and it seems to be doing well. Um, I'm going to fill this up pretty good. Make sure that root ball is covered. Covered in the name of Jesus as well, because <laughs> if y'all could have seen the, piece of, the little pieces of root that fell down the drain, oh my goodness, my heart dropped. 
So yeah, you guys, um, here, I'm actually going to fill this up a tiny bit more. I'm going to show you guys the area I've been keeping it in as well to wrap up this video. Okay, guys, so this is like my little plant table area set up currently. I have been keeping this plant right here shaded from my um, silver sword here shaded underneath um, here because I just know you know of course you can see the burning and crisping of the leaves so I was like okay at first I had it up here on this table but then that you know I quickly realized that that was too much light so I've been slowly easing it out of the shadow of the silver sword so we'll see it'll get there I'm so proud of my little baby. And I guess I'll give you guys like a quick overview of how everything is looking right now. I took some more propagations from my Crimson Princess. Um, I potted up some cuttings from my Golden Pocos. Here is my Hindu rope right here just chilling out. I took a cutting from there the other day. You can see it in that shot glass over there. You can see I have the scissors. It has I have really been scissor happy lately. Um, I have a couple of jade leaves propagating. I don't know what's going on with these burrow tail, um, burrows tail propagations, but it they just look like they're dying out. And I I don't know what I did wrong here. I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Here's just some Lecco chilling right here. Um, this is a neon pothos another container full of jade and burrows tail um my teneke is over here just hanging out looking you know looking a little ugly but she's hanging on my jade plant is loving this grow light right here she's been putting off new growth let me see if i can find okay yep right here you guys see those two little leaves like how adorable um this low-key turned into like a whole like <laughs> update low-key but um my splendid is back here in the cut hanging out doing wonderful my quote-unquote elbow here i did rip that leaf unfortunately <laughs> and yeah um that's just a quick overview of my table I do want to thank you guys for sticking around, hanging out for another planty video with me, and I will see you in the next one. Later.